Do you know how often your water softener regenerates? Does it regenerate every night? How often should it regenerate? What determines the frequency of regeneration? Maybe it's regenerating a whole lot more often, or maybe it's not regenerating at all. I'm going to explain to you what determines frequency of regeneration and how you know if it's right for your family starting right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for your family. Now, whether you're a homeowner, a water filtration specialist, or a plumber, this video is definitely for you. So the first step in understanding how often your water softener should regenerate is knowing what regeneration actually is. If you don't, I've got a great video that explains the whole process. I'll put a link in the description down below, and you definitely should check it out. So basically what regeneration is, is re regenerating the media beads inside the media tank in your water softener. So on an ongoing basis, water flows over those media beads. It softens the water by removing the calcium magnesium from the water to make it soft. But at some point, we have to clean out those beads and we have to regenerate the media, those media beads, and that's what regeneration process is. So to calculate your regeneration settings, you're going to need some information. So the first thing you're going to need to know is your hardness in grains per gallon. So if you get that in parts per million, you just divide it by 17. So for this example, we're looking at 12. In iron, um, you're going to need to know that in parts per million. So for this example, we're looking at 1.5. We're get, you're going to need to know the number of people in the family, in this example, four. Number of people helps calculate how many gallons of water you use and how many gallons of water you'll be putting through that water softener. Um, you're going to, uh, the manganese content of the water, in uh, again, in parts per million. So for this example, we're going to, going to be using 0.5 parts per million of manganese and the softener size. And again, this example, we're looking at 40,000 grains. So with the information we have, we're going to calculate compensated hardness. So for the hardness in this example, it was 12. So we're going to use that, but we're also going to use uh, for, we're going to multiply the iron content, which is in parts per million by four. So in this example, we have 1.5 parts per million of iron. So we're going to multiply it by four is going to equal six. And then for the manganese, we have to compensate for the manganese in the water. So again, in parts per million, so you multiply that by six. So in this example is 0.5 times six is three. So you need to total up those three numbers. And uh, so you're gonna add the compensated hardness, which is 12. You're gonna add that to the, 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 um, the iron that we're compensating for. So that's gonna be a factor of six. And then we're gonna add the manganese that we're compensating for, which is a factor of three. So it's gonna give us a total of 21. So with a metered water softener, as you can see, it's quite straightforward to do the calculation and enter it into the water softener. So how do you know if you have a metered water softener or not? Well, a metered water softener means that it's counting how many gallons of water you're using. And the other kind of water softener is a time clock water softener. So a metered water softener has a meter built into it. So in this clock water softener here, you can see this cable. So the meter's inside here and this cable runs into the unit. So and uh, so the easiest way to tell if your water softener is metered or not is just go somewhere in the house and uh, run some water. And uh, as that water is running and flowing through the meter, most metered water softeners, calc uh, they flash to show you that it's sensing uh, water movement. So this is what the meter looks like here. And if I blow on it, let me just turn this a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. Back a little bit. So you see the word softening flashing up here? So that's telling you that water's flowing through the water softener. So different water softeners um, don't, this shows the word, uh, this is a clack WS1 valve on this uh, Hume Water Care water softener. So it, it sh fl uh, flashes the word softening on there. Some flash the word filtering. Some show water drops uh, flowing through. Some show a flashing light, etc. So like I say, go run some water somewhere Watch to see if something's flashing or something's moving on the screen and then shut the water off and see if it uh, if it stops. Now, it's a little bit of a time delay as you saw when I blew on this uh, on this meter here to get it going. So there's a little bit of a delay, so be a little bit patient and the same when you stop on it, it takes a little while uh, to stop registering. So if you have a time clock water softener, there's a lot more calculation to it. So um, with, with the clock water softeners, it's a three button. So as you can see here, there's three control buttons across the front. So that's known as a, a three button valve. So with the clack, 
three button valve is, is strictly just used for uh, filter. Now with a time clock water softener, there's a whole lot more calculation that takes place. Now unfortunately, most of the time people don't go through that calculation. What they end up doing is they just end up guessing because as you can see, there's a lot of calculation here. So, and unfortunately what often happens is they guess high. In other words, they, they, they set it to regenerate more often than it really should because they won't, don't want to have a callback, especially if it's a professional doing the job. They don't want to do the job and then the people run out of uh, um, soft water um, after a day or after two days. So what they'll set it to regenerate more often than it actually should. So of course the problem with that is then the customer ends up using far more salt and far more water for regeneration over the next two, five, 10, 15, or 20 years. So um, that's why we don't recommend a, a time clock um, valve for a water softener. But uh, anyway, let's go through the calculation here. So you can see the first thing is you need to multiply the number of people in the family by 75. That's the way we calculate the water usage. So in this example, four times 75 is 300 gallons. Uh, we need to multiply the, um, the compensated hardness number uh, times the water's usage to tell us how many total grains per day of uh, water softener capacity we're using up. So in this example, it's 21 times 300, 6,300. We need to calculate the reserve capacity. So again, with a, um, a metered water softener, the electronic valve figures all that out for us. But with a time clock, we have to figure it out for them. So um, it's, uh, we always calculate 20% reserve capacity. So again, here we're looking at 7,560 compensated total grains per day. Since water softeners are most efficient at two thirds of their capacity, we multiply the softener size uh, by 0.66, that's two thirds. And so 40,000 grain uh, water softener, um, 26,400. And then we need to, uh, the efficiency size divided by the compensated. So we get 3.5 days. So of course we can't set it for three and a half days. We have to set it for the next one lower, which is three days. So you can see why a time clock water softener is much less efficient than a metered water softener. Ideally, if your water softener is sized and programmed correctly, it'll regenerate about every three to five days, but at least once every 14 days. If it regenerates every night, it's just too small. If yours is a metered water softener and suddenly it's regenerating far more often, check to see if you're using a lot more water. Maybe you've got more people there. Maybe it's Christmas time and you've got to have a lot of people over. Or maybe you've got a leak somewhere in the plumbing system. And uh, definitely check those toilets. That toilet may be running on, causing you to use far more water, and that's why it's regenerating more often. Not regenerating at all? Well, that means the meters stop working. Click over here for your next video on water softeners, and I'll see you there. Any questions or comments, put them down below.